So let's see two examples here. Okay, so when there are three forces, okay, in order to keep the particle balance, then how do we do it? Firstly, let's consider the net force. So by using the tip to tail method, we can find the net force here is the combination effect of these three forces. So in order to make it balance, we have to add another force, which is our force F. That is an opposite and equal value on the other side. So that we can now find the resultant force using the tip to tail method. By using the Pythagoras theorem, we can find out the magnitude. And then we should define the angle because you can see the compressed bearing there. So we have to indicate the direction by using the compressed bearing. That's why we choose the theta at that angle. And now we can get the force F with magnitude and direction. So the other examples, the question states that this body is in equilibrium. That means all the forces are balanced. But the issue is the two force have the angle rather than horizontal and vertical. So what can we do? We have to resolve the forces into vertical and horizontal direction first. So the red one represents the component of the 30 Newton force and the green one represents the 50 Newton force. So firstly, let's consider the vertical direction. After resolving the force, we can observe the 2F is equal to the vertical components of the 50 Newton and the vertical components of the 30 Newton. So by using this method, we can find the vertical F2 and then consider the horizontal direction. So the forces acting on the right hand side should be balanced to the forces acting on the left hand side. So that we can form the equation like this in order to find the horizontal F1.